begin our interview, okay? All right, cool, cool. Sounds good. All right. All right. Um, the name of your company is Creative Event. First of all, uh, where does that where does that name come from? Creative Event. Um, well, basically, it comes from um, the idea of us um, trying to um, not just um, have concerts and not just be a, a concert pro promotion company, but um, creating events, all types of events, whether it's a, a nonprofit a event for a nonprofit organization or it's a concert or um, it's something for a charity like it's you know it's it's basically we find ways to market um, these events we find ways to uh, make capitalize off each event you know and also give back while doing so so that's what creative events is all about it's just um, taking something just um, having a vision creating that vision and and just making it a reality. That is wonderful. So basically people can customize what it is that they want to happen and take place in creative events, correct? Yeah, that's that's our ultimate goal. At the moment, um, you know, we're, we're building, so you know, uh, we we are um, primarily focused on our events, you know. But in, in the future, we definitely want to branch out and help others um, have successful events. Once we build a um, a following, a, a strong following, and also um, you know networking in, in the community, and you know if, if someone had an event, if we were to um, you know help. Um, um, create that event, put that event together, you know, we can um, pretty much put our stamp on it and make sure that it's, 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 it's a successful event. That's wonderful, wonderful. Which, um, that segues into my very next question for you, Josh. Um, how long has your company, Creative Events, been in existence? Um, well, we started um, in the summer of uh, 2014, um, which is, uh, we started off as um, primarily just um, hip-hop events. Um, we um, partnered with one of the um, um, biggest um, venue owners, um, bar club owners in Abilene, Texas. Okay. Um, and we um, 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 had multiple um, successful events. Um, we did Tech 9, um, E40, Too Short. Uh, we had Kevin Gates, uh, which is a huge artist, um, at what, and was a sold-out show. Uh, we also had Kirko Bangs and, and Little Kiki, who are also Texas-based from Houston, Texas. And we had Webby, which was a, a very popular Louisiana artist. Um, and we all uh, we did those shows uh, within the first our uh, first year. Um, after um, that year, uh, we decided to just kind of um, reinvent ourselves, um, not okay. just you know for hip hop, but uh, hip hop. Um, concert um, company or a, a hip-hop promotions company, but, you know, um, have a broader spectrum of, of different genres of music and not just hip-hop, and that's what we're doing it, this year, starting that's off with the Temptations. That is awesome. That is what, that's awesome. You're just really going right down my list. So, um, you're bringing, those things are wonderful. Um, so, you have been in existence for a year and, and have had some major things happening. Um, I definitely want to commend you for that thus far. So, you are bringing the temptation to Abilene. First of all, we want to know when is this going down? Um, the temptations uh, will be in Abilene, Texas, on September 27th um, at the um, Abilene Civic Center Auditorium. All right, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, um, so what do you think this will do for Abilene? What will this mean for Abilene? I mean, this is not just. I mean, you're talking about the temptations, Josh. I mean, <laughs> what is that going to do for the city of Avalon? I think what it does, you know, a lot of times you hear you hear a lot of people say, well, Abilene, um, you know, we don't have, m you know, much to do here or we don't, a lot of big names don't come to Abilene, Texas, and, you know, and a lot of um, promoters um, are, uh, to be honest with you, are afraid to bring um, bigger shows here. Um, but we have seen in the past with ZZ Top, uh, which was very successful, and also uh, we have seen um, in in the past, like in the seventies and um, in the seventies, where the Doobie Brothers and Foreigner and um, Kenny Rogers and all of the big yeah, names, yeah. Top, yeah, they they came to Abilene, Texas, and they were all successful shows. And what we're doing this year, we're catering to that crowd that supported those shows in that in that time. And that's um, a lot of the shows we're going to bring. We're going to do hip hop. We're still going to do hip hop, R and B, comedy. But right now we're going to focus on those those um, that classic that. Um, the, the music that um, that, that really um, brought um, people together, um, and also in a time you know like like the Temptations, you know, right, right, um, in a time right, when the, right. 
civil um, rights movement where um, there was a lot of um, conflict and um, a lot of um, a, a lot of anger and, and frustration. Um, you know, music was was what brought people together. Where where, where music touches the soul, and the soul has no color. So you know, we think that music, especially this type of music, is definitely going to be um, something that's going to bring a lot of people together, where they can enjoy themselves, have a good time. You know. That sounds great. So is it safe to say that creative events is about bringing people together? Yes, it is. You know, um, we we definitely, um, you know, um, want to have a successful event, you know, but we also uh, want to have a meaningful event, you know. Um, I, I think that, um, you know, we're going to give tickets away. You know, I, I can tell you a short story of... I, met, um, yeah. I was at the gas station, yeah. and I, um, I, I seen, you know, I seen a, a lady, she was an elderly lady, she seemed to be about 75 or older, and she okay. was at the gas station, and I, you know, I, I just, you know, I wanted, I'm, I'm spreading the word, so I said, I, I told her, how are you doing today? She said, I'm doing well, and um, I said, well, have you heard of Temptations are coming to town? And she was like, oh, really? And she got really excited, and, um, uh -huh. and she then she uh, really um she got kind of down and kind of started to cry. And I was like I was like what's wrong? You know? And I was like um are you okay? She was like yeah. She was like well my husband he died in December and he really loved the Temptations and wow. he would have been so excited to to see them come to Abilene, Texas. And um and I I shared my I gave her my condolences and gave her a hug and I told her well you know what I'm gonna um you know what, give me um, your information, and right. um, I gave her my card, and she said, um, I told her that um, I'm going to talk to my partner, and I'm going to see if we can probably give you free tickets to the show. Um, I haven't um, um, contacted her yet, but I'm definitely going to give her a pair of free tickets to the show, and I think that's going to really make her day. She told me that she was on so. fixed income. You know, she said she was on fixed income, and, you know, she right. really um, she wants to go, but she just has to check um, and make sure she has enough money. But those are the things, you know, I think giving those free yeah. tickets, you know, you know things, stories like that. There's so many people who, you know, kind of love that music and have grandmothers right. and grandfathers. And, you know, and it's, it's going to be pretty cool to see those people who thought that the Temptations would never come to Abilene, Texas. Right. On September 27th, right. they'll be here. So I'm excited to see those people and have we a are, great time. And, yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm sorry, go on. Hello? Yes. Okay, I, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. I was just going to just, you know, cheer you on and just say we, we are also definitely excited uh, for you, Josh, for creative events and um, the the unity that it's going to bring to the city. Um, where's about can people go to purchase these tickets at this point in time? Where where can they go, you know? Um. They can purchase tickets at um, Abilene um, Civic Center box office. Okay. Um, okay. And they can also purchase them at www.stubwire.com. Okay. Could you give us that website one more time? www.stubwire.com. Okay. S-T-U-B-B wire? Um, S-T-U-B-wire.com. Okay. Gotcha. All right, we want to make sure that our people know about that. Um, we're super excited. So, um, Mr. Otis Williams is going to be is going to be there. Um, first of all, how does that make you feel to know that not only he's coming to Abilene, but that it's because of your role and your invitation and your your hard work? And I know you have a team of people that work with you day in and day out. Um, but tell us what that means to you, Josh. Well, um, to be honest with you, um, my two favorite movies are The Temptations and The Five Heartbeats. Wow. And, and I, I watch The Temptations all the time, and I always, you know, I, I watch how Otis um, kept The Temptations together. Yeah. And, you know, um, um, from the conflict with David Ruffin to um, so him, um, Ruth and his son, and, you know, I feel how you know, he still stays strong and so we kept the group together and we stayed together after 50 years and, you know, the, for a man to create something so much, the magnitude of temptation, we still have the, um, I would say, um, the, the, the mental stability and also the, the, you have to be a really, really strong individual. That's right. To, 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 to do something for that magnitude and I just admire him and his hard work and just, you know, just the, the, the type of person that he is and as, as long as I meet him, I'm definitely going to 
you know, um, take a picture, post it on Facebook, and also, and also just, you know, just, you know, tell them how much I admire him and.